Hello, my name is Michael Martin, owner of the Global Polygraph Network. Welcome to our video part two about how to best design your relevant polygraph questions. We're up to rule number four. We don't ask people if they are lying to us. We leave that up to the polygraph. Questions must be asked in the most direct way possible. For example, if we want to find out if someone has robbed a bank, we ask, did you rob the bank? We don't ask, are you lying about robbing the bank or are you lying about where you were when the bank was robbed? Rule number five, don't ask long questions. If the questions take more than six or seven seconds to ask using normal speech, it's probably too long. Rule number six, don't ask hypothetical questions or questions about the future. We aren't fortune tellers. We can only determine what happened in the past not what might happen in the future. Rule number seven, don't ask about feelings or emotions. We can only test on facts, things that happened or didn't happen. Thoughts and feelings are not rigid, unchanging facts. If you wanna know if someone loves you or prefers the color black to red, polygraph is not what you want. Rule number eight, don't ask compound questions. Clients sometimes try to squeeze in multiple questions into one, but that has the same effect as asking multiple questions. You still won't know one part of the question the person reacted to. Rule number nine. If you do decide to go with a less accurate multiple issue test, all the questions must be on the same subject. For example, you can't ask about stealing and using drugs in the same exam, just as you can't ask about infidelity and child abuse in the same exam. One test, one topic. Calls today for more information or to schedule your appointment.